Hello, welcome to this video. In this and few upcoming videos, we'll see how to use a new package called Shiny Dashboard. Shiny Dashboard package comes with multiple functions, capabilities, and UI components, which makes it easy to create nice looking Shiny Dashboards like these. Let's go to our studio. We'll start with the basic layout of Shiny Dashboard and build on it further by adding the UI components. This is how typically a dashboard page looks like. The major components of dashboard page includes a dashboard header. You can put a title here a dashboard sidebar where you can have menu items, widgets and so on. And then the dashboard body where you can have widgets, plots. I am in UI.R and to install the package, we say install.packages shiny dashboard. I already have this package so not going to install but we'll load the required packages I'll say library shiny to load the shiny package and library shiny dashboard to load the shiny dashboard package within shiny UI we have a container or the main function which is called dashboard page so you can think of it as in the dashboard page, we got the dashboard header, which is created using dashboard header function. And we have got another container inside the page. On the left hand side, we saw the sidebar and that's created using dashboard sidebar function. And then the body is created using dashboard body function. In the dashboard sidebar, we just have a text saying this is a sidebar and can have sidebar menu items. So you can have menu items and you can have image, you can have widgets and so on. The tab pages, the plots and other UI components, if we want in the body will be part of dashboard body function and we'll see in other videos one of the thing is dashboard header comes with an argument disable and so if i say disable equals true we can hide the header let's rerun the app We can see that the header is hidden and we only have the dashboard sidebar and dashboard body. Similarly, we can use disable equals true in dashboard sidebar. And if I rerun this, we can see that the dashboard sidebar is disabled and we just have the header and the dashboard body sections. Another argument which comes with dashboard sidebar is collapsed equals true. What it does is it's the capability that when the app loads, the sidebar is hidden and if we click on this icon, it can be expanded. 